Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Bethany Frankel exuded confidence and style as she graced Bondi Beach in Sydney, Australia, sporting a chic blue bikini on Monday. The former Real Housewives of New York City star, aged 53, donned a ruffled two-piece ensemble by Megal Coronel, paired with exquisite high-end jewelry. While her designer swimsuit is from a previous collection, a similar version is currently available for purchase at $330. She opted for a top-knot hairstyle as she took a dip in the water, later shielding herself from the sun with a wide-brimmed hat and coordinating blue sunglasses, completing her beach look. Frankel brought out the big guns when it came to jewelry, wearing a celeb fave Van Cleef and Arpels vintage Alhambra necklace. The skinny girl founder has always embraced showcasing her figure in swimsuits, often dunning eye-catching bikinis during her various getaways over the years. Currently journeying through Australia on a speaking tour, the Bravo celebrity has been actively sharing her experiences on social media. Accompanied by her 13-year-old daughter, Bryn, she expressed on Instagram the joy of turning a work trip into a mother-daughter bonding experience, reflecting on the life she has built. However, she faced criticism from fans after posting a snapshot of a phallic-shaped dessert, which she subsequently removed from her feed. Stay tuned for more sunny fashion moments as Bethany continues her whirlwind tour of Australia. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel to get update news. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Despite winning season 27 of The Bachelor, Katie Bigar still faces online harassment from trolls. However, she has developed effective coping mechanisms to deal with cyberbullies. Bachelor Nation enthusiasts closely monitor the relationship between Katie Bigar and Zach Shawcross from season 27. Rumors of their breakup surfaced, particularly when Katie's engagement ring disappeared. Nonetheless, Katie and Zach have moved on from reality TV and returned to their everyday routines in Austin, Texas. They've put their wedding on pause to focus on becoming homeowners first. But Katie gave an update about the wedding on the horizon. She revealed that they might possibly marry in late 2025. Bachelor Nation boasts one of the most vocal fan bases, but the anonymity of the internet can sometimes lead to things going too far. During the Women Tell All special, Bachelor Season 28 contestant Rachel Nance, who placed third, joined host Jesse Palmer on stage to discuss her experience pursuing Joey Grazia Day. However, Rachel also opened up about the unpleasant direct messages she received once the show began airing shedding light on the darker side of reality TV fame. In a vulnerable moment, she revealed that some Bachelor Nation fans were calling her racist slurs in private messages. The backlash intensified when Joey chose Rachel over Maria Jorgis, leading to an increase in hateful messages directed at the reality TV stars. During the Women Tell All special, host Jesse Palmer directly addressed the audience condemning anyone engaging in trolling behavior. He even prompted Bachelor Nation contestants in the studio audience to raise their hands if they had experienced hateful direct messages, with many, including Golden Bachelor contestants Kathy Swartz and Susan Knowles, acknowledging they had. Meanwhile, Katie Bigart took to her Instagram story to recount her own encounters with trolls, confirming that she had indeed received hateful messages and even shared an example with her followers. The only reason you're posting this is to make the handful of pathetic girls just like you jealous. You're a fasterisk asterisk king embarrassing sad excuse for a woman. When faced with hate, Katie adopts a resilient attitude. I think it's safe to say every contestant receives extremely inappropriate messages. It's about rolling with the punches and brushing it off, she remarked, emphasizing the importance of maintaining a sense of humor in dealing with such negativity. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel to get update news.